Hey there, yo. Well, it's time for some more Russian bee stuff. Okay, so, so far I've inspected one hive. Um, I have two that I installed on May 2nd. I have two that I installed like a week later. And then these two here, I just recently installed. So... These two are on 6-8. Today is the 16th, June 16th. So, um, I done my first inspection on this one, which I installed on 5-2. Um, so, this one I installed on 5-2, so it's going to be next. Uh, main thing, this isn't going to be a real, uh, you know, extensive video or anything i'm just i'm more concerned about their temperament than anything so all right be right back hey there we go all right now y'all yeah these russians i'm just really curious about you know i want to see uh well you know my main reason for getting them was for health for bee health mm -hmm and vitality right but uh i'm really curious about their temperament and all that stuff too because yeah i think it'd be a shame if uh if i can't work on stuff so all right so Now, one thing that I might have to consider is that, okay, <laughs> this is some better comb. Some mice got into it. That's why there's a big hole. But, um, one thing to consider on the temperament of these bees is they are in five frame nukes. Uh, Usually, you know, a lot of times bees, if they're in a 10 frame, they get a lot more brave. So, that is something to consider here. But, just so far, I'm liking everything I'm seeing. Even though it's just 5 frames. Um, at least, uh... You know, I do have 10 frames worth of bees. So, and like so far, look at this. Um, I'm not getting stung or getting attacked or anything yet. Okay, here's a nice frame of brood. Yeah, there's eggs, larvae, capped brood, everything on this frame. I would have expected to see her on this frame. Um, there's not a lot of capped brood, but the stuff that there is looks really healthy. Uh, there's no, like, they're not trying to tear open any caps or cells or anything. So, and I'm not seeing any K-wing, no deformed wing virus. Let's see here. Here's a wired up frame. They're working on this. They're drawing it out. So that's good. I'd like to see them festoon on here, which they were here. Man. Um, yeah, I'd like to see them just close this up, which I think they will. I know I got some pretty ratty looking frames right now, all right? <laughs> here, I'm running out of equipment. Oh, there goes the star of the show. Here, uh, I'll 
I'll just let them eat some of their reserves if they need them. But I'm I'm really hoping to get at least a hundred pounds of hive, even though I can't mess with them, you know. This uh, brood pattern here, she is. There she is. Man, she's a beauty. Now, if you notice, these brood patterns, you might say that they're pretty shotgunny and stuff. And they are. But, like, these queens are brand new. And uh, you got to give them a chance to, uh, like, there was a couple of frames in here where the brood pattern looked a lot better. So, I'm not going to fault her for uh, um, having a brood pattern on a couple of frames like this. So sometimes that just happens with the newer queens, especially if, like if they had to be banked for any amount of time. Here that can uh, affect all that, you know? Like they'll like have to lay like completely out of control if they were banked for you know a certain amount of time depending how long they were banked so <clears throat> same with this one um this is pretty much a full frame of capped brood but it's looking really shotgunny and there's some uh i have a lot of wire and stuff buried in so Like buried into the wax. Here, I'll show you what I mean. You see these wires running through here? So they just need to keep building this out. It might take like a season or two for the bees to really keep drawing that out. And then it'll clear up. All right, and our inspection is pretty, pretty much over. I mean, this temperament, this ain't nothing, man. Um, once again, I mean, these are just five frame hives, but still, I have absolutely no issue with the temperament of these first two hives, so... Okay, and this is a frame of honey. Everything looks healthy. The queen looks healthy. There's nectar, brood, honey. Everything is in place for a good hive here this year. So, next year I would... I'll plan on this hive just being like one of my super hives because if you've ever dug into the traits of these bees, um, like one of the reasons why they uh, handle Varroa so well is because of the, the way that the queen behaves, the way that she lays her eggs and stuff. Um, she can go like from negative laying eggs to 3,000 eggs a day in no time so that's what they claim and so what happens is you know the varroa like when I do my winter bait mite method you know I get the varroa down to zero very close very close to zero and uh, by the time like April rolls around you know if these Russians, like let's say they have almost zero mites. Well, by the time she starts laying, if she just starts off with a bang, 
she's going to outlay the mites by leaps and bounds. Um, and that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, it'll be as close to treatment free as possible, really. Which I'm already kind of doing that. So, but, you know, I'm, that's why I'm kind of excited about these. So, all right, well, we are all set for now. I got some bees in the way, but we'll just cut this video short just so uh, you don't keep dragging things out. So, all right, y'all have a good one. We'll see you. Bye.